secondly, we have this great, great, important news for all you Kim Kardashian fans out there. She's finally decided to change the. Oh, she finally has changed the name of her um, uh, solution wear or like you know spank sort of like stuff that she'd done. I'm sure you guys are aware of the story prior that came out a few weeks ago. Was that a few weeks ago? No, a few months ago. Um, when the mayor of China or the mayor to the mayor of Japan writ to Kim Kardashian and said that he would advise her not to kind of name her solution wear kimono because I think there was a rumor that she tried to cherry mark kimono and kimono being the traditional dress for of Jap of Japan of Japanese culture and you know that sparked a whole conversation behind the why does Japan why doesn't Japan own the trademark for kimono crazy sort of things have come out right it reminds me a little bit of you know when on Spotify there's kids on Spotify who upload leaks or unlicensed music from rappers and then bag all the profits from it you know that's the thing right yeah that similar sort of thing like that it makes me kind of laugh about it but anyway um Kim Kardashian, in a weird way because i think that she done they've done really well at making sure they never res not never respond but they don't really buckle to public pressure they just keep on doing what they're doing but i think nowadays with the scrutiny that you get on social with the idea of being with the idea of being solution where and it being something that it's going to empower women because it's going to allow them to, you know, have the illusion that they have flat, flat stomachs or smoother fires or whatever it may be called. I don't know what that kind of wear is. It would be a bit, you know, it will be a bit disingenuous. It will be a bit weird if she decided to just say, fuck it, I'm going to call it kimono wear. Um, you know, uh, be guilty of all the cultural appropriation that these people are accusing her of and just continue pushing it, right? It doesn't really need a, doesn't need a hassle. And because and considering it's just one tiny arm of her business why just why 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 have it be problematic and just kind of get it out there as soon as you can and i'm sure it kind of uh, the money was affected in some way because she had to press pause on it so i'm assuming the amount of money that was lost in terms of promotion she's probably going to do a big press tour that got probably got cancelled so a lot of stuff got pushed back for it but again i think that's the beauty of having you know fuck you money you can just you know okay guys cool i'm gonna take a break i'll come back later when you guys stop freaking out but um She's changed the name of it, and now it's called Skims. And I'm actually a fan of the name Skims. I think I prefer Skims to Kimono. I think Kimono was a name that probably sounded cool when they were discussing it around a dinner table, right, or in a design studio. But I think Skims probably, you know, again, has more of a connotation towards what they're kind of trying to do. You can kind of think about it a lot more. It's sort of like Spanx, right? The whole idea of it kind of that Spanx on your body, I'm assuming. Um, that kind of makes sense in Skims, you know, similar to Skin. It being a skim on top of your top on top of your skin already as it is. I don't know. I like how it sounds, how it goes about. So she made a post on social, kind of detailing that. And again, we got this whole like you know um, solution where for all people. I think I mentioned it to the brunette the other day about why anyone would want this. But I guess you know for most women, especially if you've got the problematic areas around your abdomen or on your legs. I think I saw one bit that she showed. I think I showed one solution where i saw where it was one leg right it was like a kind of split thing so if you're a lady and you went to go down a red carpet or wear a slit dress with you know one whole leg hanging out it was quite hard to do because you had to get glue you had to get different kind of panties so i guess with this you can still wear the entire thing with one sleeve on the other side so that kind of works well i'm assuming for most of it again i don't know but i like the i like the advert it reminds me of kind of you know again there's loads of yeezy influences with the pastels and the way the women just standing straight wearing heels uh, but she says the following she says my fans and followers are a huge inspiration to me and i'm always listening to their feedback and opinions and i'm so grateful that they share their ideas for uh a new brand name after much thought and consideration i'm excited to announce the launch of skim solution wear tm see <laughs> it's got trademark straight away though isn't it that's why you see that right that's where the business comes in she didn't fuck around she didn't even i'm not even gonna try she even try and say look i'm gonna wait until what you guys say it skims now um Come September 10th. I love the idea that the places that will be closest thing, the places, the pieces will be the closest thing to someone's skin, skimming with amazingly soft and supportive fabrics, which um, which accentuate the best parts of our bodies. Available in sizes double XS and 5XL. Skim solution wear is for everybody. Skims.com. Wow, amazing, right? So that's pretty cool. Vanessa B. Croft, again, the lady that did loads of uh, stuff for Yeezy, did the pictures for that as well. So a good little tie in there. And yeah, all is well in the hood, man. After all that conundrum, all that um, drama with her having the name and it being so controversial, now we've got a brand out there that should be able to compete. And I'm actually anxious to see how this does compared to Spanx because Spanx is sort of the industry standard, right? Everyone knows what Spanx does and how they do things. So I'm interested to see how that kind of goes about. Um, but I think in general it should be pretty decent competition to see how that in kind of entails. Again, it's a strange thing because you don't really men would never really wear something like that, would they? I don't think like um a you know 
Would they? They probably would, maybe, innit? it? It's like what guys wear those kind of muscle t-shirts. They they do kind of make your body look a bit more, you know, stronger. But oh, I like the logo. The logo looks awesome, doesn't it? Right? You like the logo? See that? That was flipping great. I like that. Let's see the what's that press? What's this? The email? That's the email. Um. But yeah, there's no uh, there's no sort of like pressure so many for about it now. Just this. She's got an Instagram page for it. Let's see what that looks like. But yeah, so far so good, man. I like what it looks like. I think she smashed it in so well. Um, again, I think it's gonna be really popular with the ladies out there. They're all very excited about the idea of having something that can, you know, suck in some of that um non that unwanted fat and stuff. But again, I think I mean just to see if a guy could do this and put this out and it'll be a, a hit. I th- imagine if a guy did this with like padded a padded top that made you have pecs or that made you have a slight sort of six pack. I think dudes would wear that personally. Again, it's it's a bit you know it's a bit dubious, but I think guys would wear it. But again, I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks proper great. Um, I like the photos. Um, something very um, 1950s. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks very, very cool, doesn't it? No? I fucking love it. Especially with the heels. I think it looks really, really good. Um, saturated pictures, black and white, or, you know, 35 millimeter film. Loads of um, loads of diverse women there on the cast again, which is something that hopefully now should just be a thing and not just be a. It should be a thing that just happens and not just like something that you wave your flag around. I think as as annoying as um, as annoying as identity politics is, as annoying as some of these sort of like you know fat activists are for the most part, I think they've done a lot of good in terms of raising awareness about you know how difficult it must be to be a bigger woman and going into a store and having to go right to the back in order to kind of rummage through your stuff. I can get how annoying the frustration that must be. But I think now, again, for the JD conversation, the next step forward should be that as some of these brands are recognizing their mistakes, such as Nike with that, um, um, they've got the mannequin, the, the larger size mannequin they've got in the shops now. Um, they recognize their mistakes and they're trying to do different. So I think what we should do now is instead of treating these um, shots or these um, editorials as some amazing step in or kind of rating women as being brave for standing up there. It should be just be standard, right? There should be a girl that looks like that on the right and that on the left. That should just be the way it is. It shouldn't be a thing of like, oh, you're brave because you decide to walk down the runway in a pair of pants. Because, you know, when you're at home and you're a bigger lady, you wear your underwear too, right? You're not, you know, you're not trying to wear it. So let's just try and empower each other through the idea of it just being normal, right? It just being a standard thing. It's the same sort of thing of like, you know, I'm assuming if you're a same-sex couple, you don't want people staring at you when you're kissing you. Your partner in the street, right? It's just be a sta- it should just be like a standard thing. No one really cares. No one gives a shit. You guys are in love. It's none of my business. You keep it moving. Um, same way how you wouldn't stare at a heterosexual couple, right? Making out on the street. So I think this shouldn't be a big deal. We shouldn't be taking that much credit. You shouldn't be taking that much credit for what we've decided to do. I think it was a bit weird that for a while we had models only be a certain size. Remember the size zero thing? Remember there was this obsession with youth and kids that were wearing, you know, especially the designer stuff in Milan, you know, wearing Fendi and all those kind of brands and being, you know, under 21 and not being able to afford anything on that runway, even at retail price, right? Even at cost price, sorry. That was a bit bizarre. But now we're moving forward and hopefully um, we have this be just a standard thing now. No one's kind of like freaking out. Oh my God, is this... Um, Bigger size models is such a brave thing. We're moving the culture forward. It's like, no, this is how it should be. This is how it should be reflected. If you want to, every time you go and buy something online, you should, you should see yourself represented in the clothing, right? Especially clothing wise. Whether it's for the models, whether it's for your lookbooks, whether it's for people wearing it on social, you should see yourself wearing it in some way, shape, or form. That's how it just should, should be. Um, so again, um, check it out. Skims by Kim Kardashian. Oh, it even says it here. Solution Wear by Kim Kardashian West, which is, I, th- I like what they're doing now. Buy the, 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 it's not just called a company. I wonder what that branding thing's about, right? She does that quite often with her stuff. They say it's buy this, buy that. They don't. They don't just leave it as a skims solution. Where it's always buy. I wonder what that idea of um of doing that is all about. But hey, I think.